Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about code editor on Earth Engine. Let's dive in. To access the code editor, I'll go to platform and click code editor. Then it will take me to, to the code editor page, main page. Okay, so let's start. Um, on a code editor is an API application programming interface that you can access Earth Engine library of data, planetary scale geospatial data um, on the cloud using um, JavaScript and also uh, Python script. So let's look at uh, each part of a code editor. So the first part is uh, the code editor editing section. So here in the code editor, you can write script um, and print or just um, get info and also map and export. You can do various um, you know, applications using the code editor. As an example, let's print our first um, programming script. Uh, let's print uh, hello, hello world. Print, it's a string, so I'll put it in a code. Hello, world. And in a JavaScript, to close a statement, you have to use a semicolon. And if I run that, it, it would show on the console output. So that's effectively we're writing um, our first JavaScript programming language on a code editor. And this is uh, on the right side, you can uh, you find um, three pieces of um, buttons. So the first one is inspector. So the inspector helps you to inspect location, pixel values, um, objects added to the map and um, other elements. You know, when you click here, it will show you um, those uh, layers or elements or maps um, and then their information associated with um, each point. If you move to, you know, from different places, for example, since we don't have any layer on the layer manager, it will just be only the lat long information, right? So it will just tell you the latitude and longitude of that point. So that's how you use the um, inspector, um, uh, the inspector um, button. And the, the second one is the console. It's called console output. So it will provide you, for example, here we wrote a script, a uh, print hello world. If I print that um, and I have an output, hello world, a print. So it's just um, a console output where you can uh, print your error message and some um, progress information and, and things like that. And the last bit here is a uh, task manager. So the task manager uh, will help you to uh, monitor some um, progressing activity. For example, if you export uh, your data here, you can run the export and also monitor the progress. If it's complete, it says complete. If it's progress, it, it will show you the, the time that it lapsed it to, uh, to complete. And that's um, in terms of uh, what you have on the right side of the code editor um, and here, you have um, a layer manager, which, which is not showing here, uh, but uh, it will show if, if I have something to print here. And the, uh, the map in the satellite view, you can um, you know, toggle uh, between the two, uh, you know, the map view and the satellite view. So this is a satellite image. If you zoom in, um, you know, it can take you um, at a pretty high uh, res and you can access the satellite image of, you know, uh, each point on, on any place on Earth. If you're interested on the regular map, um, then it will it will just, you can um, go back and forth with the satellite image and the map. Okay, and as I mentioned, here is, you know, the map, the code editor, and then here's at the bottom is the map where you can, you know, visualize your analysis um, um, output or just product. Um, and on the left side here, there's a zoom button. You can, you know, minimize and zoom at, zoom in, um, and then zoom out if you, if you want. You can change the satellite image, so it will help you, you know, to zoom in, zoom out. And this is a geometry tool where you can um, you can effectively digitize 
uh, or create uh, features including point line and polygon so if you click one of these, for example here and you can you know digitize or create a polygon uh, by using this feature right and it will automatically create you know geometry so just points here so I would exit for now I don't need um, this just uh, for a demonstration purpose and okay I can delete this yes okay um, the other important feature on Earth Engine is the, the script manager where you can create a script and create a folder and um, even um, you know save your your you know your script here for example this is uh, I can open this script so this is a script um, you know already saved here um, so you can save your script you can share um, your, your script with collaborators and here's the API documentation uh, you can access some algorithms uh, and in some example scripts if you're interested in um, the third one is the um, assets you need the asset manager where you can import um, data to Earth Engine and you can access it using an asset ID and here here's a get link button the get link button for example for this script if I wanted to share it with other people I'll generate a get link and then it would automatically generate a link so I can copy that link and then share it with other people so when they open it they'll have the same script they'll access the same script that I'm opening here and the save script is every time you create um, you um, modify or edit your script you are able to save it or save us um, uh, so it will help you um, you know archive your your script as you um, progress uh, on, on uh, you know your work on Earth Engine Code Editor and you can also once you have your, you know, your script written you can run the script and if you have an export you can run it here if you have some visualization it, it will show up here so this is where you run your your uh, uh, coded your script from the code editor and there's also some help menu where you can um, access some um, tools and you know guidelines so overall this is uh, how the code editor looks like you know you have a script manager API documentation asset manager and um, you know the code editor where you write your script and then the map um, and then the zoom and the geometry tool where you create um, you know features you can uh, toggle between you know the map and the the satellite image and you know here are the inspector and then console and task manager and uh, some help